Hello, this is Neil with uh, Red Hand Systems. I want to uh, introduce you to a new product that we've been working on uh, for some time now. It's been only really enabled uh, uh, in the you know, last year and a half by the uh, availability of uh, very high quality, very quite accurate, low cost uh, IMU technology. Um, the IMU technology allows us then to add what we call Dolly into the to the uh, normal uh, geotagged uh, photography out there, um, which allows us to know what what the field of view is actually looking at. And there, I have a demonstration of the working video here that follows uh, this. Uh, I want to talk to you a bit about all the parts here. So anyway, this is the uh, Red Hand Hummingbird. It is uh, attaches onto the Nikon camera through a hot shoe. Uh, when we're in still photography mode, it uses the hot shoe to uh, mark the GPS positional time in the uh, track logs. Uh, so it's really quite accurate on the time hack to match uh, photography against GPS. Um, runs at 20 hertz in uh, video mode. Uh, it's uh, uh, we have to capture that here on a memory card because the the data is a bit verbose and it overwhelms the uh, insertion of the gem full motion video metadata that we apply and place into the uh, left channel of the stereo pair in the audio. If it's in the um, stills or the standard frame, photography frame, in an EXIF form, we uh, use several tricks of the trade called compound numbers to be able to insert the azimuth uh, pitch and roll into the photography. Um, so uh, that's the initial state of the, the product. It, it's uh, been available for about six weeks now and uh, we're reaching out trying to show this off a bit so folks can see this. I'm going to pause this and get set up with a uh, Red Hand Isware demonstration of how the videography works here. So just a moment. All right. So what we have is another setup here. This is a Red Hand Isware session. It's made up in this case of uh, video portionality. We uh, enjoy and very much uh, like the VLC, VLC uh, uh, player. It has a lot of nice qualities to it. Um, I won't go into all those sorts of things in this demo, but really like it. So anyway, that's what you got here. This is the Isware interface. has a couple features that, uh, again, are not in this demo because I'm trying to demonstrate what goes on down here. So this particular video has been loaded, and this is its uh, position of information in the track. The track in this particular case is essentially just myself standing on a point and uh, rotating uh, clockwise to uh, provide a uh, short video. And what we will um, try to illustrate here is not only do we have the positional record of the vi video here on the street, but the orientational spoy of sensor point of interest uh, or, sen or uh, sensor perimeter of interest. So I'm going to give a, I'm going to kick this off get a start on this alright so now we got the video playing and here you can see this red frame which is the uh, spoy and I'm going to zoom in here a bit so you can kind of see what we're doing here and as this thing rotates around you're going to pick up there's a car here that's in this driveway. We'll pick up the, the uh, garage door on this building here next. It's coming up right there. And then as we rotate back around on this side, we pick up a car that's in this driveway and finally end up um, looking on the edge of the building. So that's a quick illustration of the process of uh, Red Hand Hummingbird. Um, I hope you uh, like what you see and that down the track that uh, this might be a neat addition to your Nikon equipment. We intend to also fit this onto uh, Sony cameras, both their 
DLSRs as well as a number of their video cameras. Um, not a not a very complicated integration. It's just mostly uh, using their particular smart shoe that they call. So that's a bit more um, effort in terms of the mounting into the Hummingbird hardware. But as you can see, it works pretty good. The field of view is there. Um, so, hey, thank you so much for taking interest.